sacked Eric Ten Hag, uh, he carries on as Manchester United manager and he cracks on into the upcoming season. Um, he's been saying a few things since he's been back. Uh, let's just dip into it. He said quite simply, yeah, I'm back and I'm happy to be so. Uh, very. <laughs> Otherwise, I, I wouldn't extend my contract. And I'm here now for two years. Uh, I said I came here to win, uh, to win titles, uh, trophies. So we, we won two trophies after a dry of six years. So we are in a good direction. And now with the new ownership coming in, they, uh, they can help us. They are very supportive. And when we made this as our process, and that's what we constructed during, uh, across the summer, uh, we are in a very good position, in a very strong position uh, to go into attack. Like you said, the structures are so important. So how good is it to see that um, Jason Wilcox and Dan Ashworth have started work already? Uh, we, are, we are so pleased uh, that around the football, around that first team, that we have a strong structure and that will help us. They are really supportive. That, that will help us in, in many ways, like in uh, scouting recruitment, like in uh, departments as medical and performance that will be so supportive, that will raise the bar. So that was Ten Hag uh, speaking on arrival back in the, the northwest of England, uh, speaking to MUTV. Marcel, um, we know he's back and we know he's happy with some of the things that they've done while he's been away. The, the, the pieces of the jigsaw have, uh, have very much uh, been s set in place. Do you think it's going to make anything of a difference? Well, I hope for him it's going to make a difference because um, I think his reputation will be damaged if he doesn't do it in the next uh, 12 months. But the interesting thing really here in the north uh, west of England is going to be the Dutch battle between him and Arne Slot. Arne Slot is arriving at Liverpool. Um, as we said before, even more attacking minded than Eric ten Hag. And Arne Slot has proven it with a smaller budget in Holland t to go above every other rival, Ajax, PSV Eindhoven. He's done things with the team so brilliant, with own academy players going into Europe, Champions League. I think he will be focused on Arne Slot. It was quite remarkable that Eric Ten Hag said at the end of the season, uh, he came out with a very strange comment. He said, look, um, Arne Slot is arriving at Liverpool but Peter Boss has done a much better job at PSV Eindhoven. Uh, the football was much better. And I was a little bit amazed. I thought, ooh, he is a man seeing a rival Dutchman coming to Liverpool. Yeah. And uh, it could be a bigger threat for him than Manchester City or Arsenal or Chelsea or an extra threat, let's put it that way, not a bigger threat than Man City. Sure. But it is an extra threat. And if Arne Slott would finish higher in the Premier League than Eric Ten Hag, that will create some, some stir. You see, that's interesting, Simon, isn't it? Is it? And I, th I, I was wondering if Marcel yeah. would go in that direction. Marcel, you telling us that if Slot gets success early at Liverpool, that puts a bundle of pressure on Ten Hag at United? Absolutely, yeah. That will, that will create a hype around Slot because Slot is, is arriving with... Well, of course, with expectation, but no massive expectation because he's never worked there yet before. But everything he's done so far in his career yeah. has been really impressive. Can and you give us any news in his backroom staff slots at Liverpool? Yeah, uh, he's brought in Johnny Eitinga, former Dutch international. Yeah. Um, more than 100 caps, played for Everton, of course, which is in one way um, remarkable that he makes that choice. But then again, Eitinga, I understand, said, look, Everton could have brought me in, but they didn't. So my coaching career is carrying on and he was happy to join uh, Slot. Heitinga was very impressive in the academy years at Ajax. He, all the players like him. He's a very practical guy. And again, like Koeman, has a massive, massive background as a player at top, top level. Played in the World Cup final in 2014. Mm. He can add something because Arne Slot as a coach doesn't have that. We, we cannot fail to be impressed by you Dutch. And English football seems to love the Dutch. Scottish football did too. A friend of yours, Dick Advocat, was very successful with Rangers. And, of course, we see Slot now uh, at Liverpool. Uh, we, we know Ten Hag is in there uh, at United. And, Simon, you, you turn to me. And it's not often 
you were blown away by people in conversation, but your interview with Rude, uh, Rude Hulett. Oh, yeah, very much you, so. You were saying to me that Hulett is one of the most impressive football people you've ever encountered. Yeah, but, but primarily because of his humour and, and and his humility and his uh, you know lack of awareness of the position that he occupies in many people's minds. I just found him a very engaging personality. I think you and I spoke about that last yeah. week, didn't we? In terms of the manner in which he speaks, he's very open, he's very humorous, he's very direct, he doesn't have any sort of sense of self-worth. And given the fact that he achieved such heights as, yeah. a, as a player, um, then that's something nice to see because so many people have got bloody tickets on themselves. <laughs> <laughs> In you come, Marcel, and we'll, and we'll finish today. On well, you go. Well, Ruud Hullet is also probably the biggest fan of Ronald Koeman and biggest supporter of him because Ruud is the one who's always said, look, if we want to win things, you know, you have to be more practical. Don't just try and attack like a blind man. Uh, and Ruud is, mm. is it's telling players all the time to focus on the defence first, and this is why he is happy for Ronald. And I would be happy because it will be a Cruyff man who is, you know, chasing the victory. Yeah. And if we get past England, because in Holland everybody's divided. You're either Cruyff or you're Van Gaal. Yeah. And Ronald is, of course, in the Cruyff camp. Mm. And Cruyff is the real football entertaining side. I just want to finish with this. Uh, I, I've watched you and listened to you from afar, Marcel, over many years, and you're rightly regarded as one of the top journalists, in, in, not just here in Holland, uh, in Germany, in Holland as well, in Europe throughout. So in your career tonight, do you think, even after all the matches you've covered over the years, you're about to witness a special match tonight in Dortmund? England, Holland is always special, and tonight with the massive, the biggest Dutch army I've ever seen, I hope that will just give us that edge and see that super, super match, which we're all longing for in this tournament, because I'm glad France have gone out, you know, only scored one field goal. Spain is a natural tiki-taka team, great football. They are in the final, deserve to be there, and I think the one who plays the best tonight should also have the best result. Marcel, thank you so much for your contribution. I know you're going to head off to Dortmund soon, so will we. Uh, Sam and I are thrilled to have you on board uh, this lunchtime and pleasure. for joining us whilst we've been in Germany. That's about it. Uh, Jeff Selling and um, Alex Cook will take over from us. Sam, it's been quite a time here, isn't it? It's Indeed. It's been a wonderful setting. Indeed. Um, I think we're back tomorrow. We might be in the centre of Dusseldorf tomorrow. We're we'll back here tomorrow. When it is, it, we'll either be talking about who won it, whether it's England Throwing in the final, holding daffodils, or whether whether it's the Netherlands in the final, we shall find out. But Jeff and Alex are on the way. It is one o'clock back home, two o'clock here, Lakeside in Dusseldorf, in Germany. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.